Comparing this program to any other one, this one described to me the, the way to do it. it, it I'm able to take from here and apply it to what I do, where I've not been able to do that before. I was just given the theory about what I should be doing, but never came up back with the takeaway of, oh, okay, I understand that, and here's how I'm going to do it. Cram it, put it all in perspective. This is when I'm doing it, this is why I'm doing it, and kind of gave you that refresher, is, and it structures everything. I teach curriculums that are already made for me, but I know why I'm doing things at certain points, and I know where I need to inject certain things that the curriculum is lacking and change it up a bit so I get the understanding that I want in the end. I'm still getting over nervousness, so that I think will be helpful, and also learning the different types of learners that there are, the four different types, would also be helpful when developing a curriculum. I would definitely recommend it, especially being in a point where I haven't been able to apply it. I definitely recommend it to anyone, either if they're teaching or planning on teaching in the future. The, the biggest thing, I, I, I'm going to work on it at s different steps, but the, the one thing that I'm going to work on first is figuring out what my hooks are and relaying the, those to the trainees because that will teach them why they need to know the information just to, to continue to try to engage them throughout my sessions. They're going to walk away with a comprehensive understanding of the material, whereas without this, they may or may not know it that this is, you know, if I've been used to rule the room trainer, they're going to otherwise walk away with, I have no idea what I was just told and I don't know why I need to know the information. I work for uh, University of Michigan Hospital Security. We do a lot of training for external uh, groups as well as our internal groups. So it's structuring our core training that we teach them every year, annual training, um, in a way that um, they can better understand it and know why they're doing it. The why is a big, found out is a big point <laughs> that you want to get across. I think I really like the whole um, learning to separate the, the whiteboard from the PowerPoint and um, recognizing what tools work best for what, whatever that you're trying to do and recognize, you know, the six words or less and things of like that. I think that would be something that I'll definitely can take with me in my first training section and just recognizing what's appropriate and when I should use what tool and not just how to use it, but like why this is better in order to be able to get my point across to my trainees. Yeah, I, I, I think I learned a lot of things uh, uh, that there are different learners yeah. and that uh, I'm one of the learners. Uh, you know, we learned today there are uh, four types of learnings, uh, learners. There are like four major categories, talker, you have the researcher, you have the step, and uh, I believe the creator. Right. I believe I myself is a step uh, learner plus a little bit of talker. Uh, and uh, I, I need, so it's natural for me to deal with uh, learners who are step because I create the way. Mm -hmm. But now I think I have to be more aware of that, the other type, and tailor my uh, teaching skills and my curriculum to meet their needs. And I, I think I learned a lot today about that. I think uh, the Rule of Room seminar is a great way for. Uh, trainers to refresh perhaps what they know and also to learn some new tools and tricks uh, that will help them enhance their teaching style and allow them to bring their personality to the classroom so that they can teach all learners. Retention, they're going to understand the goal in what we're trying to teach them. They're going to understand that there is a need for it and that need is going to be the first thing they think of when uh, it comes to it. But you're also getting your return on investment with the time you give because they are actually learning something.